What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? You boy Jazz. Welcome back for another Madden 25 online ranked match. And today we have the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Tennessee Titans. And uh, today at 6 o'clock Eastern will be uh, my first full game of the year using the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Seattle Seahawks. So a lot of you guys have been asking for a full game. And a lot of you guys have been asking for the Chiefs. So I figured two birds, one stone. So go on ahead and check that out tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. Hope you guys enjoy it. was definitely a good game. So 0-0 zero zero right here. Having the Bengals. I know I have a tremendous defense. Even though I gave up a touchdown. But it may not look like I have. Well, the Bengals have a tremendous defense. I'm controlling the tremendous defense. So it doesn't actually make it tremendous. But nonetheless, you guys know what I mean. A very stacked defense. And, you know, hopefully they can bail me out with some good plays for me. So... Tennessee Titans definitely have a very good offense. Why they have a good offense? Because you have Jake Locker and you have uh, Chris Johnson. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need much more. You know, on offense for me, you know, we have A.J. Green, who's a stud. You have, you know, two good tight ends. Of course, I'm going with Josh Johnson to give me some speed. Right here, we end up going quick little in route to Green. And I'm just hoping to bottle up Chris Johnson and force pass. You know, I want to be able to make sure that... Jake Lockard is in that pocket passing. That's definitely going to give me the best chance to win. As I hit him with the skinny, though. We end up finding Green over the middle. Going, uh, giving myself a touchdown. So, 7-7. Seven seven, back on defense. And again, the Bengals have, like I said, a very good defense, man. They, they all hit hard. Great corners. Good, quick safeties. And they're just really good, man. So, I'm, I'm hoping that the computer is going to make some things happen for me. Of course, you already know I'm going to be lurking in the middle. So hopefully we can just have something go our way. So, you know, all we need is a couple stops here and there because the Titans defense, in, in terms of Madden, is good. They have three linebackers with speed of like 87 or higher. And that's tremendous, man. You want to talk about sending blitzes with linebackers and things like that. So, you know, if you tweak their uh, depth chart, man, you definitely got some ballers over there in Tennessee. So he's driving a little bit. You know, he's getting close to within the red zone. We send a nice uh, little B gap right there. Taylor Mays comes through with the sack, forcing a second along. Try to run again. Mays makes another play in the backfield. Second and 23. Oh, we got three Bengals over there. We break it up. Fourth and 21. And this right here is a very, very big opportunity for me to be able to hopefully move downfield and get myself the first first lead of the game. So, you know, all we want to do is just make good plays, make good reason, move the ball positively. Right there again, almost, almost got it with the skinny over the middle. Second and 10 right here, we try to uh, run to the outside and Bernard gets bottled up. So 39, we do not want to waste this turnover on downs. Quick little wheel route, he was uh, manually covering it and just didn't get there in time. Thankfully, we uh, sniffed that out as soon as we caught Hike and we ended up making a good read. Right there, Bernard makes a good run to the outside, he could! go oh the way all the way to within the red zone definitely a big play by bernard getting us a huge huge gain right here we go with johnson dive the oh he caught me with the toe tackle second and 18 right that right there of course sucks because that makes us um it makes it more difficult to try and get a first down so you know third and seven right here we try to be sneaky and sneak in a qb rat but he's doing a very good job of bottling up these qb runs so fourth and twelve, you know we want to turn the turnover on downs into touchdowns. When we find Snoo over the middle for the first down, and right now we're really close to the end zone, and we want to be able to score touchdowns. I mean, you got to be able to capitalize on being able to stop your opponents with touchdowns. So third and goal on the two yard line, we we sneak it twice. We get to the one yard line. Fourth and goal. Notice the time is going down, and we go right over the top, and we get the touchdown with only leaving like thirty seconds remaining and that right there is good you know good situation 30 seconds left but we can stop them here you know we're going to have time with the lead and that right there is always always a beautiful thing but he does a beautiful pass over the middle already getting himself in field goal range right there oh man i was just a skosh behind just a skosh just a second behind that play a uh, few seconds left he stayed in the pocket he goes over the middle drop pass five seconds remaining now he decides to go for it Tries a wrap of his own. We stop him and he doesn't get the time off in time. And we are able to stop him before halftime. And that was huge because we get the ball back. 
Now we have an opportunity for a multiple possession lead, though. And hopefully that's what we can do. So that stop before halftime was huge. I'm sure he thought he could sneak in one more play before, uh, you know, and he could call a timeout if it was unsuccessful. Thankfully, that tackling animation was like a two-second tackle and we're able to waste all the time off of the clock. So right there, we get a quick first down and we end up uh, getting the ball back to Sanu who's coming through for us in a clutch situation. So right here, we run the ball with Bernard. Whoop! Excuse me, son. I got a touchdown to score. I see Bernard is making moves, though. Bernard is making things happen. Right here, we try to catch him on a screen play. Oh, oh, it was sniffed out. So second of 14 right here. You know, we want to get in at least field goal range to give ourselves the opportunity for multiple possession leads. So we try a running play that goes absolutely nowhere. Third and 13. Let's see if we can pick it up quick. A little all round and green with the Chris Carter feet. I said he got them Chris Carter feet. Chris Carter is the best receiver I've ever seen by the sideline. That man was a Houdini. When it comes to, when it came to making things happen on the sideline, that dude was a monster at them sideline catches. And you see Green with the nice little tiptoe. And we oh, oh oh we got the wheel road. And oh look at Hawkins coming through with the spectacular catch. I don't even care if he gets injured. Scoop him off the field. He did what he had to do. So right now we're really close to the end zone, only a couple yards away. Second ago, as you see, we're eating up the clock here, man. We pretty much got rid of the entire third quarter. Third and going on the one yard line right here. We end up, it's a fumble! And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I just fumbled on the one yard line, putting him back in this game. Oh, you want to talk about frustrations? That right there is one of the most frustrating things that could possibly go wrong in this game on a quick run play. But how beautiful is that? Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. We got Maluwaluuga. Maluwaluuga. I, I don't know. Maluwaluuga coming through with the interception. You go, Maluwaluuga. I say you go, Maluwaluuga. Man, that is a beautiful name. And that is a beautiful interception. I need a fathead. Can somebody tweet me where I can get a Maluwaluuga fathead? I need a Maluwalu fathead in my room right now. Matter of fact, when this video is done, I'm going to Twitter and I'm just going to type out, where can I get a Malu Alu Fathead poster? I need a Malu Alu Fathead. Anyways, 7-17, seven man. We went ahead and kicked our field goal. He did a good job of stopping us. But again, that puts us up two possessions. So we feel good about being able to win this game. So, you know, of course, he's still trying to get Chris Johnson involved. You know, one of the most deadliest weapons in the game of Madden. Right there hits me with a QB rat. Thankfully, we stop it before it gets, you know, too much of a game. Right there, beautiful pass, but it's dropped. Fourth and three right here. This is a very, very big play. Standing in the pocket, and he hits me with what looks like a wheel route, and he ends up picking up the first down. So, you know, he can score. It doesn't matter. We still retain the lead no matter what. All we want to do is make it a lengthy drive, you know, continue to call plays. Don't give up any home run plays, and we should be good. Right here, we call a zone, and just beautiful, beautiful catch animation. <laughs> to be able to swerve him on the inside from the tackle. So again, we call another zone and we end up getting a covered sack. Gotta love those. Again, he goes back to locker running the ball. And we've done a pretty good job at being able to stop that. Third and ten right standing in the pocket. And oh, oh, we gotta be able to catch those. We gotta capitalize on those. He decides to go for it. He throws and he gets a touchdown. Nice call by him. End up hitting me with the corner route. So now it's a field goal game. So all we gotta do, that scoring isn't even you know necessary all we got to do is move the chains and get him to burn those timeouts and this game is ours so one play before two minutes left we're looking cause man play and, ah, i thought we had the first down man but it's just a tad overthrown right there second and ten we're looking we're looking and we go to the end route with green and you know your boy aj green's gonna hold on to that one so we pick up the first down all we need to do is make him waste his timeouts. And we hit Bernard up the middle. He's so strong. I said little man is so strong. Picking up the touchdowns. That man obviously brushes his teeth with pork chops. It's clear that that man has IV bags just full of chicken grease. So much protein running up and down that man's body. So it's 14 to 24. We're up 10 points. And you got to be feeling good about this situation. Only a minute some odd left. All we got to do is not give up a huge home run play. Really? Really, though? We give up a huge home run play? Did you not hear me say? Did you not just hear me say don't give up a huge home run play? And then you're going to look me straight in the face and give up a huge home run play? That's what you're going to do, huh? It's okay, though. We recover the onside. 
He only has one timeout left from here. Now, there's nothing he can do to stop the clock, so we just waste the time, and we end up winning the game, guys. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's your boy GS signing out. I don't even know why. I didn't even get to see how many skill points I won. Maybe I hit X too fast. I don't know. But, um, again, tonight, 6 o'clock, uh, full game with the Chiefs. Also, a 9 o'clock video tonight with a special shout-out. Going out to somebody, NBA 2K video, which is a very good video. Haven't even edited it yet, but I feel like it's going to be good. Check that out as well. So, it's your boy GS, and I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.